This video contains two examples of solving log equations, and these are a special type of log equations because they are natural logs. But if you know how to solve a log equation, then you're going to know how to solve these. The goal is to convert to exponential form. So first, you want the log by itself, and in this case, it is already by itself. We have the natural log of 2x plus 1, and it is already by itself, which means I can immediately convert to exponential form. When you convert, the base of the log moves to the other side and becomes the base of the exponent, and our exponent here is going to be 6. The base of every single natural log is e. So if it helps you, write e so you know what you're moving around. Now you are going to figure out e to the sixth power, and I would recommend not clearing it from your calculator. So what you're going to do on most calculators, I believe, you're going to be finding that button that says e to the x, and you're going to be raising e to some power. So in this case, we're raising it to the sixth power. Hopefully you get this number, 403.428, yada, yada, yada. Do not clear it. I repeat, keep it in your calculator. Once you have converted to exponential, this becomes algebra 1. So now we're going to subtract 1 to the other side. Hopefully you had it in your calculator, so all you had to do was hit minus 1 and then equals. Sorry about that. Um, now to get x by itself, you're going to divide by 2. So without clearing anything, you're going to divide by 2. So you get approximately 201.21. Now, if you didn't have a calculator in front of you, let's say you were just finding this in terms of E, you would have E to the 6th minus 1 all over 2. Those are the steps that I just took in order to find that decimal. So now I'm just going to do another one. Again, once you convert this to exponential, it just becomes an algebraic equation that you're solving. So the base is E. Again, the natural log is by itself. If it wasn't, I would make sure that I moved everything around until it was by itself. So we've got e to the 7th on the other side. e to the 7th is a big number. You should get 1,096.63 and some other numbers after that. But please don't clear it from your calculator. And also, please do it in your calculator so you know that you're getting the same thing as me. Now it's just a matter of solving for x. So... If I have x minus 8 all over 3, the way that I'm going to move the 3 over is multiplication. So I'm going to keep it in terms of e this time. Now I'm going to add the 8. That's a 7. Um, so we have 3e to the 7th plus 8. If you put that in your calculator, you're finding e to the 7th, which is that 1,096 number. Don't clear it. Then you're going to multiply by 3. Then you're going to add 8. It is approximately 3,297.90.